All right, we're going to look now at determining trig ratios for special angles. Now, what I mean by special angles in this case is angles related to 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees, or in other words, pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. We're going to use these two triangles, which you have likely seen before. The first one being a 1, 1, root 2 triangle, where this angle is pi over 4. This angle is pi over 4 as well. And then the other triangle being a 1 root 3 2 triangle because that has the angles pi over 6 or 30 degrees and pi over 3 or 60 degrees. All right, so we're going to use the ratio of the sides in that triangle to come up with some trig ratios for some special angles. So let's look at these three first. We're looking for the cosine ratio in this first one here of 11 pi over 6. Now, before we tackle this one, we should remember that we've looked before at how you can come up with the cosine of an angle in standard position just using the intersection point of that angle with the unit circle. But this is sort of a different approach. It's related, but we're going to use one of those special triangles without thinking of it as intersecting a circle. We're just going to draw the thing. Now, it's probably over here. I mean, it's in quadrant four, and that's about as close as I'm going to get just sketching it freehand here without measuring. So that's my 11 pi over 6. The reference angle for that is pi over 6. It's related to pi over 6, that same denominator there. We're going to just draw a kind of a reference triangle in here, one of those special triangles. I'm drawing it the, where the longer side, the root 3 side, is sideways, and the 1 is down because that gets me the pi over 6 in the right place there. This 1 has to be negative because it goes down that y coordinate's negative and this is positive root 3 because it's to the right and then my hypotenuse the radius is 2 there now once I have that set up it's really easy to write the trig ratio because I'm looking for cosine and I just think that cosine either if I'm looking at the triangle I can think of cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse or I can think of it as the circular definition that it's the x-coordinate divided by the radius if I'm thinking about that point. Either way what I end up with here is the fact that that cosine is root 3 over 2. All right let's look at the second one here. Tangent of 135 degrees. 135 degrees is related to 45 degrees. It's in quadrant 2 so there's 135 degrees 45 degrees is the reference angle. I'll draw this. I'm going to draw a triangle in there, or kind of a reference triangle. This one, though, is going to be the 1, 1, root 2 triangle. And this has to be negative because it's to the left. If we're going to write the tangent of that, then, we can look at this from that reference angle and think, okay, we want the y-coordinate, or opposite, over the x-coordinate, or adjacent. So I have 1 over negative 1. Well, I could write 1 over negative 1, but it's simpler just to say that's equal to negative 1. All right? Third one, sine of negative 7 pi over 4. Negative 7 pi over 4, we're going to go backwards here. It's also related to that, that 45 degrees, or pi over 4. If we're going to draw a reference angle right there and use a reference triangle, fit in that angle in the reference angle we got to use that same 1 1 root 2 triangle because that's the one that has pi over 4 in it and that's what we're working with here reference angle so if we want the sine of that we just look again at from the point of view of that triangle we have the opposite or y coordinate over the hypotenuse or radius and we can write 1 over root 2 now, if you wanted to rationalize that, because the radical's on the bottom, the root 2 is on the bottom, you could take 1 over root 2, you could multiply it by root 2 over root 2, and you would get root 2 over, root 2 times root 2 is 2, right? So the other way you could write this is root 2 over 2. You see it either way. Take your calculator, test it out. Those are the same value, all right? So that's finding three of the, the primary trig ratios. Now you can also use this exact same approach, no different if you're finding reciprocal ratios. So here's three reciprocal ratios to find. First one here, cotangent of 5 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3 
is about there. Now, for this one, I'm going to draw this reference triangle the tall way because this is 60 degrees or pi over 3, right? Because we're working with pi over 3. So when I draw this reference triangle, I'm going to draw it the, the taller way this way. That means the 1 is here and the root 3 is over here. Different than the way we had it the other way, right? If we go back over here. The other way we had it is the long way sideways, the root 3 sideways. Here we have the root 3 up and down. All right, so that's important to draw it that way so you don't get mixed up. And then, of course, put the 2 over there. If we're looking for the cotangent, I would say the simplest way is, first of all, write down for yourself or think for yourself, what's the tangent of that? The tangent of that is that y-coordinate or opposite over that x-coordinate or adjacent. So I've got that it is negative root 3 over 1. So then if I'm looking for that cotangent, I can just flip that over, right? Do the reciprocal. Cotangent of that is going to be negative 1 over root 3. Now you could rationalize that as well, and you'd end up with negative root 3 over 3. Either one of those is fine. This next one here, secant of 210. 210 degrees is going to be here. It's got a reference angle of 30 degrees, this angle in here is 30 degrees, so I've got to draw my reference triangle with the longer way sideways if I'm using that 1 root 3 2 triangle. I've got to number the, or put the proper signs on these things. This is negative because it's down, right? So the y coordinate's negative. That's negative because it's to the left. So if I'm going to write the secant, again, I think it's easiest to write what the corresponding one is here, the cosine 210. We're looking at the adjacent or x-coordinate over that radius. So that's going to give us negative root 3 over 2. So then if we want our reciprocal, which is what we're looking for, secant of 210 is going to be the reciprocal of that. In other words, negative 2 over root 3. You could rationalize that one as well. Negative 2 over root 3, if I multiplied it by root 3 over root 3, you're going to end up with 2 root 3 over 3. Right? So again, either one of those is fine. Last one here, cosecant of 17 pi over 6. 17 pi over 6, well, if we're looking at something related to pi over 6, that's 6 pi over 6. That's 12 pi over 6. 17 pi over 6 is going to be not quite another half turn. Okay, this one too, related to pi over 6. So we're going to have to draw that special triangle with the root 3 sideways rather than up and down. Root 3 there, it's negative. 1 there, it's positive. That's 2. So then if we want to do this, well, first of all, write what the sine is. Sine of 17 pi over 6 is. Look at your triangle from the point of view of this reference angle in here. You're looking at the opposite or y coordinate over the radius or hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 over 2. So then if you want your cosecant, 17 pi over 6, that's just going to be the reciprocal of that 2 over 1. Whoops, 2 over 1 or just 2. All right, so that's a look at how you can come up with trig ratios for certain special angles, those related to pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, without even touching your calculator. As long as you know those, those two special triangles, 